Hello, everybody, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within with me, Burgo. Hope you're all doing well, feeling well, feeling fresh. Last time we went ahead and shot down the Overseer UFO. Unfortunately, it was flying over the home base, so we uh, decided to pay a little visit. A little bit of a nice, nice little gift from me to you. So, guys, the Hyperwave Relay has given us basic, uh, basic uh, situation report here. Ethereals, Muton Elites, Sectopods, Drones, and Heavy Floaters are awaiting us. Which basically means this ship is deadly. Crew size of 10, so we can count down uh, how many enemies we have. Hyperwave Relay actually paying dividends right now. Let's go and send the Sky Ranger in, guys. We've got the team all set up. Colonel Tom, TKE, Bender, Medria, Gas, Shelby Gardner, Dogovich, Captain of Person. Now, we uh, actually recently recruited him a couple missions ago, and... Got him on the squad. He is a captain level sniper while uh, Mr. Gothamog is in the Psy Labs. And Mr. Rodriguez. Looking good, as always. Team is ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Just a quick little flight over to Argentina. Right in our backyard. I don't appreciate trespassing in my backyard. Let's go and begin the assault. Let's get our mission briefing from Bradshaw. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. The UFO came down in a sparsely populated area away from any major population centers. We can secure the site with limited danger to the civilians in the area. Fantastic, Bradshaw. Operation Demon Shield, the UFO crash site in Argentina. Mission objectives locate the crash UFO. Should be fairly easy to find that. Be taking up half the map. Sweep the area for surviving crew and neutralize them. Locate and secure meld canisters. Avoid additional damage to the craft if possible. Some components may be recoverable as per usual, so we may need to refrain from blowing everything up. That's a bit of a problem in my book. All right. They've been protecting this ship with their most advanced technology. So it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. Heavy resistance? Well, we're going to be a heavy force, Mr. Bradshaw. Prepare for battle. All right. Miss Gardner, starting things off strong. Let's go ahead and advance up to full cover here. Get eyes on enemies if at all possible. We do have a melt canister available to us straight away here, which is fantastic. All right. Mr. Bender, let's get you in position for any barrage opportunities oh my goodness we have visitors fantastic okay this is where things start to go south very rapidly this is not good fortunately mr. a person only has a shot on a drone that's a problem we need to get in range of that uh, of that sectopod immediately okay we need to get in full cover as quickly as we can we can need to use our concealment bonuses here oh mother this is a bad star, guys. <laughs> All right, let's get concealed with Mr. Rodriguez and Miss Gas. We can plan a little bit of an ambush on these fellas. Um, Mr. Dogovich going to play a key role in this immediate, this initial confrontation. This does have heat ammo and a massive plasma launcher of doom. I'm down with that. Let's see if we can get a long-range shot on these fools. Oh, my word, the beauty is real. Deploying. Starting off strong, Mr. Dogovich. Thank you kindly. Oh! Rest in peace, drones. My goodness. I think we just started an avalanche. Mr. Dogovich with the OP. Orders Let's go and get concealed in Medria Gas. Let's get some eyes on that sectopod. Otherwise, things are going to get real nasty real quick. No eyes quite yet. <clears throat> Let's get Sniper Boy up here in position. Mr. Kobe. A person. Thank you for joining the squad. Thank you for taking an interest. All right, Sectopod inbound. He's going to walk into a hornet's nest of doom. All right, taking a shot at Mr. Bender. That is not good positioning. Oh, my word. The damage. <clears throat> Ouch. All right, fortunately, Mr. Bender is essentially a tank. Uh, so we can, we can manage a few hits with this bad boy. Okay, 60% chance with Miss Gardner. Please deal some solid damage on that fool. Thank you. Hot plasma straight to the brain, baby. As close as a brain a robot can get anyway. Okay. 
We need to maintain full cover here for Mr. Rodriguez and Miss Gas so we can maintain our concealment bonus. Let's go and do that. <clears throat> We're gonna go and get decent positioning on this sectopod. Hopefully we can distract him a bit. I would like that. All right. Do have a shot 68%. Let's go ahead and use disabling shot so we can uh, basically get a free turn on this chump. It is a little bit less damage, but at this point with the sniper rifle, that's not too big of a problem. Only 58% chance to hit. Let's take it. Flip the coin of fortune. Where is Mr. Kobe aiming? Well, it must have worked, so I'm all right with that. I am all right with that. Fluke shots are the best shots, I say. Okay. Let's get Mr. Bender back here. Let's get him kind of out of line of sight. Maybe we can still get a Bender barrage on him. Let's try it out. All right. His primary weapon is down. What kind of shot do we have? 50% or we can go for a guaranteed damage on the grenade. I think we take it with the particle cannon, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Bender, fortune favors the bold, baby. Oh, and it's paying off. The dividends are real. All right. Miss Gas, we need to maintain full concealment here feeling you moving down there. It's getting in full cover, getting in really good position, and we have eyes on heavy floaters. That could really, really, really pay off in the end, guys. That move is pivotal. Holy mother. All right, let's go and get some... Mm, let's get some heat ammo on him. 55% chance to hit. Very good. Another six damage. Excellent, excellent. And a disabled main weapon. I'm down with that. Mr. Bender's gonna go and repair. <clears throat> All right, Sectopod boy. What you got? Oh, oh, all your weapons broken, bro. Oh. All right, heavy floaters inbound. That's a bit of a problem. All right. We do have one in Overwatch. All right. Let's try and use this main group on this side here to damage, take out this freaking Sectopod. And then uh, we can hopefully get Miss Medria Gas to disable and finish off the rest of the heavy floaters. Okay. Let's analyze our shots here, team. 68% with um, with Kobe, or 68% on the floater. I'm actually gonna take this shot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the headshot so we can get a better chance at a critical. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go and try it out. Mr. Kobe, please dispose of this heavy floater. Please and thank you. Oh, the beauty. What a shot. All right. Hmm, okay. Well, that's good. That's real good. Only 52% or 64% on Sir... On Sir Sectopod. Let's see what we can do with a Mind Fray here. That would actually be very good. Damaging mental attack against the target, reducing their will, aim, and mobility. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. I think we Mind Fray with Medria. Since our flank is pretty much cleared, we move over with Miss Gardner. Because Mr. Rodriguez is going to be coming up the rear end here. Pardon. No better words were ever spoken. Let's be real about this. All right. We need to find Miss partial cover uh, within a single move here. We will be flanked. But, okay, we still have Mr. Bender. In the case that we do need it, um, we can deploy a grenade over here and finish this heavy floater if we need to. So let's go and do that. Oh, hello! Let's see if we can get this kill, guys. Oh, the miss! Oh. All right. That happens. That happens. Okay, let's suppress Mr. Sectopod Boy. Let's get some solid. We get some little bit of damage on him, and we can get an aim reduction. I'm down with that 100%. All right. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna have enough here. We could panic him. Mm. I really don't like moving Mr. Bender so close, so let's go ahead and Bender Barrage from a distance, just so we can prevent, um, just so we can prevent any air of effect attacks from Mr. Sectopod over here. All right. <laughs> Mr. Rodriguez. The decisions, decisions. What do you got for a shot with a pistol, man? 59% only potential of doing two damage. I'm not down with that. 
We need more damage, man. Alright. Heh 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 heh. Mr. Rodriguez, we only have 23% chance from this distance with the uh, with the old alloy cannon. Man, where do we move? What's the best move here? We could run and gun. That is an option. Let's do that. We can dash, get a shot. Where do we want to take that shot from, though? We also have potential. Hmm. I don't know if the alloy cannon could do that much damage, though. That's the thing. Oh my. Oh my. Do we chance it? I think we do. Let's chance it. Here we go. Mr. Rodriguez moving in, revealing cover. Rapid fire, decent distance, 64%. Mr. Rodriguez, I bow to you if you hit both shots and destroy this foolish sectopod, and I will love you forever, my friend. Here we go. Another aiming glitch. Oh, never mind. Oh, the first is a miss. Oh no! Disaster strikes. All right, we should be okay. Should be all right with the suppression. Mr. Bender healing up yet again. That's all right. I think we're gonna be okay, guys. All right, deploying a little rocket barrage on no one. Who is this guy? Who hired that fellow? I'm not sure if I approve of that hiring manager. Okay. Suppression, heavy floater, freaking out because his mind has been frayed. Miss Gardner taking a solid 12 damage there. That is not acceptable. Mind fray, the fool! And your brain has been melted, good sir. Enjoy. Just like a good old grilled cheese. Oh, all right. Alloy cannon to the face, Mr. Rodriguez. Please, oh please, dispose of this fool. Thank you kindly. Enjoy your dessert, good sir. All right. Let's get Mr. Dogovich moved into position here. We need him to set up for suppression opportunities. Okay. Medria gas. Let's have you secure the meld. Get you into full concealment here. Very good. A little bit of meld never hurt anybody. We'll get you into an overwatch. Get things managed a little bit better here. Let's get Kobe into position. Kobe! Do some sniping in case the need arises. Get Mr. Bender moved up here as well. And we'll get him repaired up and reload. Reload complete. Reload that j jolly particle cannon, good sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Medical servos also paying dividends. All right. Miss Gardner. You have four med kits. Why don't you go ahead and heal yourself? Ten health, thank you. Oh, by twelve. Oh my goodness, Miss Gardner, medic supreme. That's why she's the boss around here. All right, Mr. Dogovich, please continue advancing. Look at this movement glitch. What on earth? <laughs> oh my goodness, I love glitches like that. Move. So funny. Okay, let's keep moving up. We don't want to get too far up just in case there's something nasty in there. We haven't encountered... How many enemies have we killed? We've killed... We've killed five enemies thus far. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's go and get Kobe into an overwatch as we advance on the ship and prepare to breach. Heading out. Move up here a little bit with Mr. Bender. I have a feeling there's going to be some nasty, nasty okay. creatures. Let's get concealed again with Rodriguez. We'll get reloaded on the alloy cannon. Let's rock. Oh, you can just dish out some heavy, heavy, hard-hitting projectiles at these fools. All right. Skarner, let's have you advance up onto the melt container. Second melt container location still unknown, which is fine. We'll find it eventually. We might lose it. I'm not too upset about that. We have the meld now um, to upgrade uh, Bam's mech suit to level three, which is great. Is really the main objective of uh, getting that first melt canister. On my way. Get Dogovich moved up, reloaded. Ready to rock. Suppression is key, my friends. We just need to keep advancing our position, and taking advantage of the we'll lull activity right now, which is wonderful. It's a wonderful thing, guys. Allowing yourself a little bit of time to reset, reassess the, the situation. Separates the pros. 
from the schmoes. All right. Let's keep advancing, maintain concealment. It's basically free eyes in here, guys, so might as well maintain it, right? Um, hello? Anyone coming out? All right, we do have auditory. We have audio on the situation. <clears throat> All right, we did lose the second melt canister. That's fine. Not too upset about that. Not too thrilled either, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Okay. We have enemies detected. What do we have in here? Looks like heavy mutons. That's all right. Mr. Asperson. Let's put that sniper rifle to good use, my friend. Headshot, 78%, 100% chance for crit. Enjoy your dessert, good friend. Oh, sniped out of nowhere. Rest in peace, Mr. Muton. 18 on the crit. What a player. All right, other heavy muton coming about. Where are you coming from, brother? All right. We do want to get in decent position here. We want to get as many much cover and as many obstacles in the path of firing as we can. Let's just get some overwatches. Let's let them walk out. We don't have any rush. We don't have any melt to contest. Um, so let's just wait and let them come to us, baby. Get our mind phrase ready. We'll get in position so we aren't flanked so much. Let's get prepped, baby. Come on out, Mr. Muton. Come on out. I know you wanna. I know you wanna. You just wanna be part of the party, I understand. Hot plasma is a beautiful thing. All right, let's maintain our concealment here, guys. Let's see if we can't get eyes on this friend. All right. Good enough, good enough. Boy, oh boy, do I love squad sight. Let's keep our overwatches ready. I don't wanna get caught in a nasty situation with an ethereal or some other kind of dastardly villain. All right. Overwatch is abounding. Let's see if we can draw him out. Let's see if we can pull off our close combat specialist here. Okay. We are clear in here. I'm digging this. Let's go ahead and rapid fire. 86%. Enjoy the hot alloy cannon. Oh. The blood is gushing. A little bit of a stall. He must have taken quite a beating. Very concealed, though, so we do need to move quickly to secure Mr. Rodriguez in the ship. All right. Enter the bender. Flamethrower at the ready. Here we go. Let's get some panic on these fools. I think they sound sound like they need a little excitement in their lives. Cruising around in the old Overseer UFO? I don't, I don't know if I would particularly like that. Okay. Let's get Mr. Dogovich over here. We'll prepare to... Activate any suppression abilities that we may need. Get eyes in the main chamber here. Maintain our concealment with Miss Gas. A bit of a flanking advantage never hurt anybody, right? Roll it out. Right. Mr. Asperson, please advance. Thank you. Good, sir. All right. Let's see who wants to pop out now. We will be scouting the ship with Miss Gas and Mr. Rodriguez because they can maintain concealment. They won't even be seen by the enemies, which is fantastic ability. Mimetic skin OP. All right. Um, hello? No one? Okay, cool. I'm all right with no one being in here. The less aliens that we have to deal with, the better. Single move, get concealed. Let's do a little bit of scouting. All right, let's move around here. They're going to be in this inner chamber, and it's going to be a nasty fight, I can tell already. Fortunately, we have Mr. Bender. And we can, uh, flame thrower. Position flame thrower, them? Is that a verb? I don't think it is. That's fine. We don't need no stinking verbs. All right. Guys, I'm nervous. <laughs> I talk a big game, but I'm very nervous right now, okay? All right. Keep moving in. Get in decent positions for um, for suppressing abilities here with Mr. Dogovich. Any reduction of aim is a good thing. The only problem we have right now is Mr. Asperson is basically useless at the moment. We can't take advantage of his uh, damn good ground perk, and we can't take advantage of his immense sniping ability, which is quite important for a sniper. I mean, if you think about it. Let's get up on full cover here. Let's scout this hallway. My goodness, mimetic skin for the win. 
All right, let's open up this door. Let's see who we got inside here. Hello? Eh, uh, what is that? I don't know if I like that. Nope, I don't. All right, let's continue advancing. We do have eyes on the most of the situation here, which is always good. Line of sight, line of sight, baby. All right. I want to keep Mr. Bender out of line of sight for when we breach this next room here. Okay, we're going to hunker down with Rodriguez for the time being. We're messing with his jazz. Moving out. Ms. Gardner, let's prepare to support Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you. Dogovich, prepare hot plasma for faces. Thank you. All right. Mr. Kobe, you're going to be moving with beta team here. The old B team arena. All right. Audio is in this main chamber here. That's not good. That makes me very, very nervous. Let's go and breach this other room just to make sure we're not going to get outflanked here. I don't like being outflanked. I'm hello. No one? Okay, good. All right. Medria. Got it. Maintain Move concealment. Back. Let's get moving. Double assault. I think that should be about <laughs> able to take just about anything. If not, we've Good got problems. Then we call in Mr. Bender the big gun. All right. Particle cannon and all. Let's get moving. Moving to target location. Moving about, moving about. Because apparently I'm Canadian. I'm ready. Let's get reloaded with Rodriguez. We've got plenty of backup here. I think we're gonna be pretty okay. Situation could get nasty. I don't think it will. All in ass. I don't think it will. You better haul ass, Mr. Dogovich. All right. Prepare to breach. We're moving in. Maintain full cover. Maybe we can keep our concealment. Oh, hello! Commander, that device, it seems to be of great importance to them. All right. Retrieving it for further study should be our highest priority. We do have heavy mutons. They've not moved in position yet, so let's go and move Miss Gas here. On my way. Can't get some decent shots on these fools. Now, the problem is, who do we take out? I think our highest priority target is going to be uh, Mr. Ethereal here because they are nasty, nasty business, let me tell you. Ethereals are essentially psionic aliens. They do not like meeting up with other scions or people, in fact, wanting to kill them. And really, I can't blame them too much for that. But, what kind of shots do we have here? We can only get the Muton Elites with Mr. Rodriguez, and they're not the best shots either. So, Miss Gas. You will be doing the honors, please and thank you, of hopefully disposing of Sir Ethereal here. 38% chance to hit. Man, I don't like that. I don't like it one bit, guys. I think we take the single shot and move about with the rest of the team, possibly getting a particle cannon shot. Hello! We're here for the party, Mr. Ethereal. Oh my god, they're so scary. <laughs> uh... Don't mind me. Hey, hey! No, don't look at me like that, you dirty alien. All right. All right, we do have flanking on one of these chumps here, so the hell. Oh. The opportunities. Let's go and kill this fool. Hello! Out of nowhere! Ambush launched. All right, we do have our two assaults revealed, though, so that's a bit of an issue. All right. Fortunately for us, we have a mighty, mighty warrior, and his name is Tom Bender. And he has a big particle cannon with your name on it. Actually, do we dare flame these foes? Oh, the flaming. Let's troll them. Muton ethereal barbecue combination. Nothing has ever been so delicious. All right, he's panicked. That is good. Muton Elite also panicked. Double panic also always nice. Getting him some decent positioning here as well. Okay. Ms. Gardner, please approach. 
Ethereal, enjoy hot plasma. I'm sure it's your first. GG, bro. GG. All right, Mr. Dogovich, please come in here. We need dispatch. Hot plasma delivered. Fresh to your doorstep, good sir. Operation was a success. The operation was indeed a success, Bradshaw. I watched the whole thing. Operation Demon Shield is complete in Argentina at 10.42 p.m. Just in time for the Late Late Show. Aliens killed 10. Zero operatives lost, though we did almost... Though Miss Gardner did take a bit of a beating. She is quite all right. Meld collected one of two canisters. I can deal with that. Very good. Job well done, team. Mmm. Surgical incisions were made. GG aliens. All right, cutscene time. I will shut up now. Giant ball of light, I summon ye. Recovered from a cloaked ship and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? A championship An bowling object ball. of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. A dangerous sentiment, Doctor. Well, 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 interesting indeed. Oh, more cutscene, yay! Sir, I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Uh-oh. Holy mother! Um... Uh... That ship is Tell angry. Me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. Oh boy, <laughs> joy to the world. Look at what we get to fight next. Research the ethereal device, we can do that. Miss Gardner is out for nine days, this is not good. Medry Gas, however, getting promoted to Psy Specialist. Let's go ahead and give her Psy Panic. Compliment Miss Gardner's abilities quite well. Very good mission for the team though, very good. Ethereal Autopsy, ethereal device all ready for research. Got a couple goods, lots of meld, lots of damage components, which is great, we can sell that. Let's go ahead and take care of business for right now, guys. Go ahead and sell all this damaged goods. Let's go ahead and head to the research labs. Get our ethereal autopsy done because we can get it done instantly. This Very good. This specimen appears to be at the top of the alien hierarchy, and for good reason. As you've probably <laughs> seen, its physical form is not suited for combat by any means. However, these elders have an incredible pool of psionic energy at their disposal. Uh -huh. Which helps to explain why the other species are subordinate to them. Indeed, indeed. Mind shield available for manufacture. We may need to actually look into that once we uh, get a little bit more quiche. Ethereal device ready for research. Very good. Let's go and do mission control. Do some scanning. All right. Let's go ahead and carry on. Start scanning again here, guys. Incoming transmission. All right. You've done an admirable job in combating the alien threat over the course of this past month, Commander. However, we still believe there is room for improvement. I know, I know. We did let those we two UFO goes, guys. Commander. We did let those two UFOs go, guys, so that's a bit of a shame. However, we do have plenty of money uh, to work with at the moment. Gallop Chamber available for construction, so let's go ahead and get that built. The research team, Commander. I've already put the oh, new look, we even have a maps. spot open for it. Oh, great. All right, let's go and get a build, guys. Take about two weeks to get done. Very well. Down to the wire here. 
Now that we've backed the aliens into a corner, I think we'll see what they're really made of. Oh! Personally, I expect nothing short of pure desperation in their resistance. They've invested too much to go down without a fight. And how? Let's go ahead and upgrade uh, Bam Beatman's mech suit here. Can we not? Oh, we need 100 melt. Oh my goodness, we, we need, need more melt. On the housing. Well, that's all right. We can keep scanning. Let's get this psionic testing done. Very good. Let's go and check the results. Oh, look at that. Pneumatic and Gothmog both gifted in psionic abilities. That is fantastic. Let's go and keep scanning. Get our next mission set up. Miss Gardner's back in business here. Do have flight computers. We don't really need more scientists, though. We can actually sell those for uh, more useful things. Let's keep scanning here, guys. Let's get to our next mission. Gullop Chamber is almost done, Contact which is great. Detected. And we have a UFO. It is large UFO class abductor. Okay, scout target. Let's go and scramble the interceptors. Let's send in Raven 3 with the laser cannon. I think that'll be quite good. We may also want to buy some... Um, some of our air power-ups for our air units. I think that might be useful. Oh boy, Raven is not going to be taking this one down, I don't think. Laser cannon, come on! Oh! Raven 6 does it! Let's go and leave the port. That'll set up our next mission for next time, guys. We do have a large UFO to be taken down next time. We'll be getting a little bit more meld to work with. Very good, very good. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and are interested in seeing more of my videos. And as always, guys, if you have any valuable feedback, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time!